You bought a dog from Miss Parker. When? Um, approximately the middle of March. I responded to a no cow for sale ad. And she was selling German Shepherd puppies? At not the time, I just bought the adult female. So she had an adult female for sale? Yes, ma'am. How old was the dog? Four. And why were you selling her? She didn't get along with one of my other dogs, and it was creating a safety issue. Had you ever had a litter with her? No. How long had you had her since she was a puppy? I had her about a year and a half. Where um, did you get her from? I got her from a breeder who had, I th believe her original story was that she had been returned. Um, someone was, was going to breed her, but then they had some kind of home issues, so they returned the dog. So the woman who bred her sold her to me. So you got her when she was two and a half? Yes. And you never bred her? No. Well, why didn't you have her neutered within the year and a half that you had um, I had attempted to breed her, but um, it didn't take for whatever reason. But if I had spayed her, then her price would have gone up as well. And then what do you mean her price would have gone up? Um, because it costs more to, to spay her, so I would have had to cover the cost of the spay. And also, it's easier to microchip them if they do that all while they're getting spayed. And How much did you pay for her? $1,000, but I got her in package with another dog. But I don't have that other dog anymore. What did you do with the other dog? He uh, actually was returned to the breeder. She wanted him back. She had first rights or whatever, and she called me up. Uh, one of her males had died, and she wanted that one back. So I agreed to give him back to her. OK, this is what happened. This is what this lawsuit is about. You, who have absolutely no idea what you're doing, decided to breed this dog. Yes, ma'am. And when you sold this dog to her, did you enter into a contract with her? The original? Or just a second. That's either a yes or a no. Did you enter into a contract with her? Yes. In, in writing, as breeders do. I know. I bought many. And if you're buying a dog, they will either sell a dog as a pet, mm -hmm. and it's at a certain price. If you're buying a dog for the purpose of breeding the dog and you want the papers, it's a different price. Yes. And that's in writing. So my question is, did you have a written contract with her we didn't write it down because she when she finished paying for the dog it was supposed to be the bill of sale as well so show it to me she she, she she never she never signed it because she never finished paying for the dog how much was the dog the dog was 150 dollars on an ocal for sale website which i have can i see the actual so you were selling the dog for 150 dollars yes for a pet just owner. a second you were selling the dog for 150 dollars how much did you miss albers how much did you pay her? I paid her 50 when we picked the dog up with my husband, and we agreed to pay at a later date. And when did you ever pay her yes. the 150? Yes, I did. Okay, so you got your $150 for the dog that you say you sold as a pet. No, actually, because when we went outside, she gave me the money, and I put it in my pocket because I didn't want to count it there. We went outside, and it was a $20 bill with a bunch of ones in the middle, and when I asked her about it, she said it was because... So she actually paid you $75 yes. for the dog. I believe her. I actually believe her. Nobody makes up that kind of story. Well, Put I your had, hand down. Yes. I had, um, first of all, you have no business breeding dogs if you know nothing about it. 